afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs, with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. No, guys, you're not watching a three-year-old video. <laughs> In 2022, I actually have a Class B camper van for under 25 grand, and, and it's actually a very nice one, especially for the price in the year. Today, guys, we're going to look at a 2002 Leisure Craft by Discovery, which is a van built by Leisure Travel out of Canada. You know, they make some very high-end campers, camper vans. And I've had the privilege of reviewing several over the years. And I actually reviewed this one back in 2016, uh, where the people uh, who bought it actually abused it for the last six years. And just decided that at their age, they're, they're getting out of RVing, so they sold it back to us. And uh, we got it today. 2002 Leisure Craft by Discovery, which is a Leisure Travel product. 20 foot long camper van, it is a wide body. So you do have the forward facing sofa that makes a full or a king size bed. And um, does have a generator. It's got 97,000 miles on it. They bought it, it had 80 something thousand. Dash air's ice cold, no check engines lights, built on a Dodge 3500 chassis. 5.9 360 cubic inch v8 plenty of power plenty of torque just what you need for this van uh you know with fuel prices being such a concern for a lot of people i mean these get 14 15 miles a gallon easy to drive easy to park um let's look around it, it does have a 2.8 onan gasoline generator with 214 hours on it but like most van life people especially the older ones they hadn't used that generator in over in over five years <laughs> so uh it does we are going to get it running but it does have a stopped up carburetor in it it'll actually crank and run just for a brief second and then you smell old gas so it obviously we're either going to have, probably have to replace the carburetor, which we are going to do for the 24.9 price and make sure that generator runs like it's supposed to. So don't worry about that. It will have a functioning generator. Tires look great. I mean, just overall, the van for a 2002 for a 21 year old or 20 year old van looks great. Got a six gallon DSI water heater. Do have a little bit of flaking in the paint right there. But again, guys, 20 years old, I mean, You've got to expect stuff like that. Got the high top roof with the rooftop AC. Still got her old style sticker on the back. You know, these great these are great little vans. I mean, they're such a versatile vehicle. I've owned one in the past. Um, you can use them for camping, for traveling, even for a driver. You know, say your vehicle's in the shop or for a few days or whatever. You can drive this around while I get a rental car. Great for day trips. I mean, just like I said, you're not, you're not, these vehicles are not stuck just for one single purpose of being an RV. It can be a multiple use vehicle. And motor's running great. Uh, let's look inside. Got the double doors, you open up, you go inside, no smoke or pet odors. Books and manuals are in here, which that's getting to be a pretty rare thing anymore in an older RV. Uh, six foot one height of clearance as far as interior height, so I can almost stand up in it. You've got 97,143 miles, no check engine lights, uh, dash air, nice and cold power windows power locks got the really comfortable captain's chairs uh, flex steel it's got the dash cover they put on it but the dash is absolutely perfect up underneath it i mean you know i know a lot of people worry about the dodge dashes but this dash of course i messed up my cover let me get it back on there has no cracks in it nothing like that so it's perfect that's just preventive maintenance now, if that cover wasn't on there at 20 years old, if it had been stored outside, that dash would have been toast. But they took care of it, guys. Magic Chef microwave, books and manuals up top. You've got double skylights right here. Small TV. Um, 
pantry. This should slide out if I can get this. The table is inside of it too. They stuck it behind the seat. It technically goes, it mounts right there. I love class B bands. And it's kind of funny because I'm six foot four, 320 pounds. So you would think this would be the last type of RV I'd want to review, but I just like these things because it just amazes me how much room you can get in a van, camper, and have everything you need. You've got a three-way RV refrigerator freezer. I have on right now, and I'm actually running it on propane, which is how the people bring it most of the time. And uh, we do guarantee it to get to operating temp, and it's already getting cold. Uh, two burner stove top, which I don't think they've ever used. Single basin sink. You have an onboard water tank, onboard black water tank, gray water tank, and fresh water tank. Uh, you do have, because it's a wide body, you don't have to take a shower in the hallway. But you do have this whole bathroom is a wet bath. Toilet. Uh, basically, your whole, you open this door up all the way creates a of course you can put a shower curtain in too and both sides do something very similar to this create a which you guys i know we're kind of up close and personal here uh but let me see if i can figure out a way to show this to you in the space i have but you can see that door makes a privacy barrier and you put your shower it doesn't have a shower curtain i guess they didn't ever use the shower but you put your shower curtain up and you've actually got a decent shower area or get ready area or you can actually close this entire thing off and take a shower while sitting on the toilet your choice but now you do want to try to keep the water in the shower pan if possible so a little different but hey it works Tar, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm really not trying to make y'all dizzy on purpose. <laughs> These vans, they are a little tight just by nature. So uh, you do have an AC, which will make we guarantee that to work. You do have side cabinets and storage. Your bed makes this is daytime use, uh, which is a forward-facing sofa. You do have a couple power switches, one down here and one behind the sofa, and lower this down and you've got a full-size bed well once i move my knee out of the way so you've got a full-size bed here now you use these little booster seats there's a table that's uh underneath this couch that sets in this track right here between where i'm sitting and there then you put these cushions across and you basically have a bed from this wall to the back door which is actually a king size bed. Then when you get up in the morning, you pull your sheets off or leave your sheets on. And that's actually not, it's actually a pretty comfortable bed. That's thanks to the wide body. Now, if this wasn't a wide body, it'd be four to six inches more narrow and you couldn't, you'd have to have the uh, table booth back here with the sofas against the wall. This is a lot easier to make up and up and down every day. And it's a bigger bed, too. Thanks to the wide body. Uh, got some USB chargers they've added for cell phones. Looks like they replaced the bulbs with LEDs. Got the day night, or got the night shades. You know, guys, it's not perfect. You know, you got a little bit of like things like this, like the uh, border peeling just a little bit around the edges. But all in all, it's a nice van. Been a local van for the last six years. Uh, van runs and drives great. I've driven it myself. I mean, there's no issues there Like I said, it's not perfect, but for a 20 year old vehicle and especially for one for this price guys, I mean I couldn't tell you the last time I did a van. I, I reviewed a van that was in good shape for 24 9 Well before the pandemic, let's just say that But it's a great deal for somebody and especially right now. I know vans are in high demand because of gas prices here it is. 
Um, 24-9, haggle-free firm. Doesn't matter how you pay for it. Doesn't matter if you finance it, uh, pay cash or trade. Now, guys, keep in mind on financing, this is an O2. Forgot to mention that. There is, I don't have any financing for it. You'll have to go to your bank or credit union if you need financing, pay cash, or trade, or a combination of the three. It's 24-9 plus applicable sales tax. Georgia residents, there is a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee on top of that for Georgia residents only. We have no other fees. Nice van. Uh, it could just as easily sell for thirty grand or more. I mean, I follow used Class B prices, guys. I'm I'm seeing stuff from the '90s. People, and not just asking asking it, but they actually selling it for in the '30s. In a in '90s models, this is a 2002 model, under 100,000 miles, which is good for a 20 year old van, because you don't want one that's had too few of miles. You don't want one that's got 200, 300,000 miles on it either. So this is kind of right there where you want to be mileage wise for 24 nine and we yes we are going to fix the generator make sure it runs like it's supposed to and puts out and all that stuff so, anyway nice van if you're interested in it give us a call 706-965-7929 i don't expect this van to make it through the week it may not even make it through the day once this video hits online I know I get emails constantly and comments constantly. Hey, when am I going to see some? I love to see a Class B van for under thirty grand. Here it is, guys. Here it is. But I mean, I may never have another one in this price range because, you know, it's kind of funny because everything I look at in this price range is junk. Um, to find one that's actually in decent shape, oh, it does have a fantastic vent fan and it works too. That's a boondocker's best friend. I mean, and like I said, the previous owners used the generator a little bit the first year they owned it, but after that, they just didn't have a need for it. I've always said that, you know, Class B vans, generators are kind of something most people don't need in a Class B. Um, but it's there, we're gonna fix it. So, you know, if you do buy this thing, you don't use your generator at least once a month, come out here and crank it up under a load for 30 40 minutes and just keep everything going good on it so you don't have the carburetor issue we have now because these are kind of a pain because you have to drop the generator out of the bottom of it they're not they're not as easy to get to as like a class c or a class a generator but uh you know that's part of class b's i mean you've got everything in a 40 foot class a shrunk down in a 20 foot class in a 20 foot van um but anyway guys 24 9 while it lasts give us a call if you're interested 706-965-7929 starting to rain now but um we do take trade-ins we have nationwide delivery for $1.50 dollar 50 a mile one way and if you're interested in any of that just pick up the phone give one of our salespeople a call you know i've got a few other class b's i've got this is the only one i've got under 50 grand just because you just can't you know that i do see them from time to time but they're junk and i'm not going to buy a homemade one because i don't know who's done the work i don't know if it's built to any kind of specifications or code most homemade camper vans are not for propane and water and electrical systems um they're kind of a safety hazard you know factory built ones at least built to code and specs and um this is a very well built van i would actually rate this one above a road trek up there with a pleasure way or a coach house you know leisure travel is a very very high-end uh van manufacturer thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and come out and visit with us check out this van call before coming to look you probably want to strongly consider leaving that deposit on if you're coming a long distance I don't get to shoot. I don't get these things in every day, guys, or every week, or even every month. I mean, B vans are the rarest type of uh, vehicle to find used on the market today. Period has been for many years. You know, they don't mass produce these things like they do the A's and the C's. And when you're looking at these things brand new, they're as much as some Class A's and Class C's. So uh, it, you know, and I know, hey, van. Not ever, you know, a Class A shopper, a Class C shopper, those who've been pricing those, they're not going to get a van. 
they're not going to get it. It's a van life thing. I, I drive a van today. I'm in my van today. I drove a van for years. I love them. Uh, they're great vehicles for everyday drivers. For I, I, Guys, I even owned a Class B van that I drove every day for a while. I mean, you can do that with these. Now, you try to do that with any other type of motorhome, you'll go broke. But you can still do that with a Class B. That's what I'm saying. They're such a versatile vehicle. Of course, I have a conversion van now, but with a few little tweaks. Um, but for everyday driving and day trips. But these right here are hard to be because you've got a bathroom with a shower. That's something you get. don't even get in most homemade vans. And it's funny because, and I don't get this about the homemade, which I know everybody customizes them to your own. And if you're into that, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you, but... I don't under, you know, used to, you'd buy homemade vans for a lot less than a factory built van. Now, people are selling homemade vans, DIY vans, for more than a factory built van. And, and most of them don't have bathrooms. And again, going back to what I said, it's a safety concern. You don't know who's done the work on it, who's done the wiring, who's put the propane system in, is it built to specs, codes, safety equipment. Most of them, you can answer that with a no. So, um keep that in mind so i would be very very cautious i would definitely have me a the most thorough in, rv inspection i could get before i spent the night in any kind of homemade camper van so anyway thanks so much for watching really appreciate it guys come out and check out this leisure travel van uh, leisure craft by discovery while it lasts 706-965-7929 Thanks again for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Thanks again, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.